So this is nine month old Bissam, and this is her cousin Salam. And we've been talking to their, let's see, their mothers, their grandmother, and we've been reminded again of just what families go through who have fled Syria. They've had relatives who've been killed, they've watched their husbands and their son be uh, beaten and mistreated. There's been death all around them. Their houses have been destroyed. So they're here in Jordan. Not because they want to be, but because they feel they have no choice. And uh, the grandmother here said to me, we hope the world will hear our children's voices. And that's really the only appeal that we can make. It's appeal on behalf of children, the filter of children, and children won't survive without their mothers and grandmothers. So there's so much still to be done. And most of all, of course, we all pray for peace. But in the meantime, what do we do to help families like this? And that's where you, me, other people around our world can make a difference. Whether it's advocating to stop this war, or whether it's finding some money to give some help so that families like this can have some confidence there's another thing for them. It's a sad story, and yet when you play with these children, there's hope. There's always hope when there's children. That we can be assured of.